So a couple of years ago, we went to the Australian Electric Vehicle Association Expo in Canberra and we walked around all the electric vehicles in that big shed and we looked at how emergency responders can isolate the high voltage battery in an electric vehicle following a collision. Today, two years later, we're at the electric SUV show in Melbourne. So let's do the same thing. There's been a whole heap that's changed in the market in two years and all emergency responders should be more aware of what's coming to market and what's driving around on our roads. So the first thing to note is that if an electric vehicle is involved in a collision where the airbags have deployed, uh, the high voltage systems should have automatically shut down, meaning the contactors on the battery pack open and no more power can run around the car via these orange high voltage cables here. Now, electric vehicles also still have a 12 volt battery as well as the high voltage lithium ion battery underneath the vehicle. Your 12 volt runs your lights, your electric doors, electric windows. Your high voltage battery gives the vehicle momentum, helps it move, gives it power. Now, some training packages uh, say that if you disconnect your 12 volt battery, that will isolate your high voltage battery, but that's unfortunately not the case. So disconnecting your 12 volt battery won't help you isolate the high voltage systems. We need to look for the manual ways of doing that. So a pull fuse, a cut loop or a pull plug. So when we train emergency responders on how to manage an electric vehicle following a collision, we talk about three things, how to isolate the high voltage battery using a cut loop that Tesla has, a pull fuse that Hyundai use, or a pull plug, which a lot of the Europeans brand, uh, European brands use. Now these are low voltage ways for emergency responders to isolate the high voltage battery pack. But when you look at emergency response guides, it also talks about the manual servers disconnect, which looks like this. Now this is a high voltage method of isolating the high voltage battery. And following a collision where the vehicle may have been, uh, the battery may have been impacted or it may be raining, you might be standing in water. We don't really want emergency responders touching that just because of the risk of, the very low risk of electrocution. Now that we know what we're looking for, let's have a look for cut loops, pull fuses and pull plugs in amongst all these electric vehicles that are here today. Starting with the Tesla, all Tesla electric vehicles have a cut loop under the front here. And you can see the little orange tag here. If we pull off this uh, cowling underneath the, the uh, windscreen, we've got a cut loop here. We cut it in two places, take a chunk of the cut loop out along with the label, and that has then isolated our high voltage battery. So the Hyundai Kona and many of the Hyundai vehicles actually have a pull fuse. Under the bonnet here, they've got a fuse box. They've helpfully put a firefighter helmet on the top of it. And if we take the lid off in here, there's a pull fuse with a firefighter label on it. And all we do is we pull that up like that. It doesn't come all the way out. And that's now isolated the high voltage battery. And then we can simply push it back in if we need to. That reconnects everything way with the green pull plug uh, we can see in this mini countryman electric vehicle it's actually in the uh, the emergency response guide they're not on the ANCAP rescue app here in Australia but they are on the Euro uh, rescue app but you can see a green pull plug which is actually here it kind of when you pull this little panel out it pulls out the green pull plug and we've got to separate that so you've got to kind of squeeze in and pull the black part out of the green part there. It's a little fiddly, I'm not really going to be able to do it with, um, with firefighting gloves on, um, but it is a low voltage way to isolate the high voltage battery. As I said before, there's also the manual service disconnect and a lot of emergency response guides will actually say to you, go find the manual service disconnect, put some thousand volt gloves on and then pull that and that's going to isolate our high voltage battery. But as I said, this is for a controlled environment like a mechanics workshop. It's for people that have been trained uh, to do that and it's not something emergency responders should be doing by the side of the road, particularly following a collision or if it's raining, those sorts of things. So we stick with the low voltage way the cut loop, the pull fuse, the pull plug. Uh, find your emergency response guide on the ANCAP rescue app or the NCAP rescue app or the EV rescue app or Moditech crash recovery system if you have that. And then figure out how to isolate that high voltage battery. So that's been a really quick look uh, two years down the track from when we originally made a video like this. So I hope it's been really helpful and please hit us up with comments and questions below. What kind of video are we getting out? I might just have to stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs>